Hi, I'm Ross McIntyre, Technical Director here at the Orpheum Theatre, and thank you for joining us for another edition of Technically Speaking. Um, now today we're going to be talking about the stage lights uh, that we have um, throughout the building. Uh, we uh, have already covered our follow spots that live at the back of the balcony, uh, but now these are our uh, standard bread and butter stage lights. These are ETC Source 4s, uh, kind of the um, standard in, uh, in, in theatrical lighting uh, because of their interchangeability. Um, and their ease of use. The um, uh, stage lights like these are located either on stage or out in the house at various hang points uh, where we can use them to create you know, different kinds of light for different situations, but we can cover that in a different edition. But right now, I just want to show you uh, just kind of how we focus one of these lights uh, when we're getting ready for a show. Now, the nice thing about lights like these, they're called ellipsoidals. And I can go into the math, but I wouldn't know what I was talking about. So the easy version is up inside the uh, lamp housing, where the actual lamp that produces the light lives, um, it's, uh, it has a reflector, uh, which is made of glass coated in aluminum, and it's an ellipsoidal reflector. So uh, in, in, in a way that like this light bulb sits in that little chamber, and every direction the light comes out of the lamp will be reflected then out of this tube, maximizing the efficiency of, uh, of the instrument. Um, because of this mirror effect, it creates um, mirror images uh, when you put things in front of the light, like gobos, uh, which are patterns that either look like leaves, uh, something more fuzzy like that, or you can actually have words and you know, very, very intricately defined details on these cutouts, is what they basically are. And um, when you put one of those in the light, it creates a mirror image. So conversely, when you focus the light and, uh, and you make the shutter cuts, that's what it's called, where you can kind of move these little fins here in and out of the light to create um, a smaller uh, pool uh, of, of light wherever the surface is you're shooting it. So when we bring in uh, this, let's just call this right hand, uh, right hand shutter here, you'll see down on the floor that the left hand, as we would consider it, uh, side of the pool starts to contract in a straight line. Uh, and you can do the same thing from the other side, cut that in like that. So this kind of light is commonly referred to, um, and it's not quite a misnomer, but w whatever it is, uh, as a spotlight because in its natural state it creates a spot of light on the floor. Um, and while this is technically true uh, you know, in terms of uh, what words mean, uh, it's not really a spotlight. Uh, one of the things you can do then with these shapes is you can soften them. So say you want to make it as small as you want, a little piece of light on the ground, but you don't want it to be a square like I've made. Uh, you want it to be just a little blob of soft light, so you can actually loosen a screw on the back here and adjust the lens tube, which is what this little moving part here is at the bottom. There's various lenses up inside this housing, and that's one of the things that's interchangeable about these lights, so we can actually make the pool uh, different sizes uh, to begin with, um, and not even from shutter cutting. And so you kind of set that in you know, a nice little fuzzy square. Um, it kind of has that corona around it. This light's only at 50%, so it's still a little dimmer and looks more amber. Uh, but whichever way you want to cut those shapes, you can do that. Now, up here at the top of the light, um, you have the yoke, which is what holds it to the clamp, which holds it to the pipe, so that's all those connections. You can uh, loosen this uh, little T-screw here, and that is how you can tilt, <laughs> squeaky, you can tilt the light up and down. Uh, however, if you want to pan the light, there's another screw, which, take out my trusty little wrench here, there's another screw up here on the clamp. You loosen that, and that's how you can then pan the light back and forth. Like so, back wherever you want to. And this element right here, uh, at the top, is uh, one of the things I think is an unsung hero of stage lighting. This is called the safety cable. Uh, it's just a little steel wire uh, rope strand uh, that's got crimped at both ends and has a nice secure little connector. This is hooked to a ring that is uh, cast into the aluminum housing of the light so that if any part of the pipe hanging hardware were to fail, at the very least, the bulk of the light would be still chained to the pipe. Uh, it's kind of a safety feature against when uh, sometimes it's happened, uh, not here certainly, but in the world of stage lighting when people hang up a light and they forget to tighten this big heavy screw here at the end, which is what actually keeps it on the pipe. And so gravity can only act on the clamp so long to make it stay in place before vibrations or, or just shifting of the pipe going in and out uh, can make that just tumble off if you're not careful. So that's why it's always important 
not only to check your screw, but to make sure your chain's on. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and turn this one off and uh, turn the next one on, and I'll show you our uh, Fresnel lights, which are our more uh, wash uh, kind of fixtures. Now these are our Fresnel lights, also made by the ETC company. And uh, the difference between the light we just uh, were looking at, the ellipsoidals, and these, uh, among other things, is the lens. Now you can see there, the Fresnel lens is a, um, it's a special kind of lens that helps focus light uh, from a cone pattern, which is how uh, the lamps in these lamps, <laughs> the lamps in these lamps, the lamps in these lights produce their light. Um, it kind of takes that cone and it focuses all of the light in a straight line. Each of these ridges on this lens kind of help turn the light in one direction. So they can kind of, they're actually very effective spotlights. You may have seen these, uh, these kinds of lenses in Hollywood iconography as just the uh, quintessential uh, you know, movie light, because um, that kind of step lens makes for, it also makes for a very soft light, uh, as you'll see when we demonstrate the light itself. Um, among other things, it uh, can be focused much like um, a Leco, but in a, just a different manner. If by turning this knob on the side, you can move the uh, lamp uh, further away from and closer to the lens, which then creates different focuses, and I'll show you that with this lit light on the ground. This, uh, this Leco, <laughs> this Leco, this Fresnel I'm using as an example is uh, attached to a floor stand, uh, which is useful in some applications when you need light coming from below. Um, we don't really use footlights uh, at the Orpheum, I and mean, a lot of places don't really use them anymore, it's just not very common, uh, commonly made. And so this kind of format, we've used this um, on the floor to kind of cast light up at things. It's kind of a cool effect. Uh, but as for the light of them, when the lens is fully flooded out, we call it, um, it's a very large spread pool of light, but when you move the lamp further away from the lens, it begins to contract until it is almost a nice even little point of light, and it's plastic. <laughs> plastic knob is very squeaky. Um, but then, flood it all the way out becomes much bigger. Usually this is a pretty good, uh, pretty good balance, it kind of uh, combines the focusedness of having it uh, flooded out, you know, with the spread of having it flooded in. So there you have it. These are our two standard types of lights we use here at the theater. Um, and uh, in later editions, we'll talk more about uh, focusing lights and from the different positions within the theater. But for today, thanks for joining us. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.